So here we go. We have two new devices. Really though, it's just one new device. Come on, Microsoft, don't hide it from us. Um, we have Surface Laptop Go. Now, this is probably going to be an important development in the Surface business, I'd say. So it's basically a mini Surface Laptop. I have never gotten my hands on on a Surface Laptop or Surface Laptop Go. I do not know what they're like, but the Surface Laptop did come in 13 inch and 15 inch. You're getting a little bit of a drop down in your screen display. It is a 12.4 pixel sense touchscreen device. The screen is just a tiny bit smaller, not too much. And it's going to be interesting to see how they fix a problem that most of keyboards with the smaller display and the smaller size have. They can be crammed. They solved it with their Surface lineup and their decent. It will be interesting to see how they do it. And figure out how to do it without being shallow also. The sh power button has a fingerprint sensor in it and it's in the right hand corner of it. Um, it's also going to have three ports on top of the Microsoft charging port. That is a USB-A port, a USB-C port, and a headphone jack. Still got a headphone jack. Cool. Fine by me. Um, there is a 16 gigabyte RAM, 256 gigabyte SSD um, storage on that maxed out version. 13 hours of battery life. Um, that's what they claim at least. There are a silver gray version, a sandstone version, and an ice blue version. Of the three of them, I prefer, I think, the sandstone. I think it looks really nice, and it's got to be really cool from what I've seen. Um, this product is probably their most competitive product I think they have come out with in a while. It comes out at $549, the stand price. Um, that is the 8 gigabyte RAM and the 128 gigabyte SSD um, storage version. That's the more basic version. I believe it does not get above 750 for the other version. I have not checked that price. My fault, guys. Um, now, they also came out with a 4K wireless display adapter, a couple keyboards, a number pad. Um, some mouses. What else? Ah, the Surface Pro X. It's been updated. It now comes with a Microsoft SQ2 chip. And that's their new processor. They claim it's the fastest processor in its class. Um, really, though, that's a small sample size, I think, for it. There's only so many ARM-based devices out there yet. Um, it comes with two different types of chassis, platinum or matte black. That matte black from the original release and the platinum on the normal surfaces. So you get three different options for your different models of the keyboard. Platinum, poppy red, and ice blue. None of these are new colors. They've all been there. So the Platinum is going to look like this. This is the Surface Pro keyboard, not the Surface Pro X keyboard, but it's going to have a similar look to it as that, with one addition though. Right in here, they have a slot to charge and hold your slim Surface Pen. Um, it has 15 hours of battery life, they claim, and it is the thinnest Surface yet. That is their other claim. And I don't know. Might. It's definitely slim. You don't get your USB A port. You just get a USB C and a USB C. And I believe you yeah, get your normal Microsoft charging port. 
it comes all versions with 4G LTE capability, no 5G capability. And I don't think 5G is quite necessary yet. It's not quite there yet. Compatibility with the apps. They are starting their App Assure program where their engineers will work directly with individual app developers to get their apps out on this for their Microsoft systems and for other ARM products through the Snapdragon and Qualcomm versions. Um, they've optimized Edge and Teams. This will mean less battery loss, I guess. And beyond that, they um, do, I do not know if they've optimized Zoom, so for you students, I'd look into that before you do make a purchase of the Surface Pro X. Um, and there's an eye contact feature. I do not have it on my version of computer right now. I have the Surface Pro 2015 version, um, but it will be standard on both the Surface Pro X updated version and the Surface Laptop Go. It was a beta feature on some devices if you were in the beta programs, but it's now a standard feature on both these devices. It'll be interesting to see how they work that out. That's all from me from JB Little Tech Talks.